so today I will be tax laxing my hair basically texturizing my hair yes relaxer will be involved and no I am NOT relaxing my hair I am trying to be a vlog and makeup channel well up and coming makeup channel because I'm still trying to teach myself how to do makeup I posted a video of me washing my hair and people actually liked that and they kind of requested for me to do more hair videos so this is me doing another hair video. In this video, I will be tax axing my hair. It's not entirely the same thing as relaxing your hair. I will be applying relaxer to my hair, but not to straighten my hair, but to actually texturize it, i.e. a looser curl. I watched videos on this and did my research on it before I actually did it. I think I did kind of explain what texturizing is. But um, the difference with the application method is that you don't only use relaxer. Some people do that. I don't know how. But based on the stuff that I've watched and read, you don't only use relaxer. You have to mix it with olive oil and hair mask just to kind of like minimize the amount of chemicals in there. I don't know how to put it. I will give you guys a run through of what products I will be using during this process i want to start with what i did last night so basically your hair has to be moisturized and not dry at all before you do this so i did moisturize my hair two days well first day after i'm plaiting and then the day after that which was yesterday i added a lot of uh, castor oil black castor oil on my hair and i kind of like twisted it as you can probably see it looks hilarious but this uh, kind of like um didn't stress out my scalp too much so that the relaxer doesn't burn i already oiled my hair last night and i just twisted it just to put it in like four partitioned so let's get to the products that i'll be using we will start with the relaxer i noticed a lot of these ladies use the olive oil relaxer so i took the working ors relaxer so i took the ors olive oil blow out relaxer and that is like 35 or 36 rand and then i bought this uh, cream of nature aloe and black castor oil healthy and long fortifying hair mask it has no sulfates no silicone no petroleum and no mineral oil so this is it and it looks quite interesting and thick as you can probably see i'm doing this and okay there's movement now but yeah i'm interested in using this so i will be putting this in here i'll be using hair oil shea butter and soybean hair oil by vatica afro naturals so i will be mixing these three together and applying it on my hair after that i'm going to be using this mealy yeah i know mealy well megan d stallion calls it Miley? I don't know what she calls it. Something weird, but this looks like Miley to me. If you're South African, you probably read Miley as well. When I saw it, I almost died. We got the leave-in conditioner for this. So after doing all that to my hair, we're going to be using this Miley uh, leave-in conditioner. My hair is 4C and this will be good for hydrating it after this entire process. So it is the pomegranate and honey line and it is disgustingly expensive. I mean natural hair is really expensive to maintain but we we just had to make uh, this purchase i look naked with this thing this was a poor choice of a shirt but i'm not naked anyways i'm gonna go start the process now unfortunately i can't record it while i'm doing it my ring light broke so i can't really have anything um holding my phone while i'm doing it you guys are just gonna see me after the process obviously i'm not gonna be doing it on myself because i want every everything to be done properly and the only person that knows how to do my hair properly is my mom literally the only person that i trust to do this to my hair is my mom because she knows how i like it and she does it satisfyingly so when i come back we will go through the texturizing or text laxing do's and don'ts
So the product is in my hair now. We're done with the whole process. I'm just gonna give you guys a rundown of the do's and don'ts based on my research. And I'm gonna go wash my hair before it falls out. I am kidding. I just wanna say first that this is a mess. There's a whole lot of this all over the floor and it is messy. It even went in my ear. It, it, my tights are messed up, it is messy. So you guys need to be ready for a very liquid relaxer thingy my bob going all over the place in your house but anyways let me just get to the do's and don'ts okay so take slaxing do's use a product that is known to protect your hair when you apply the tech slax follow the manufacturer's directions on the box being the relaxer so my manufacturer thingy says i should leave the relaxer on for like three to ten minutes i'm leaving it on for like eight minutes because my mom was busy stretching it out with her hands while she was busy applying it and that took up a lot of the time make sure your hair is well moisturized and use a no lie hair relaxer for this process and that's about it from my tech sexing do's if you know more please comment down below for somebody who does not know and wants to try this out and would like to know the do's and don'ts of tech sexing don'ts do not comb your hair out while you have the tech sexing stuff on your hair with the red tail comb don't tech sex on previously tech sexed or relaxed or bleached hair don't leave it on for too long and that's about it if you know more please comment down below and let me know what you think of the do's and don'ts that i just provided you but do you think they're helpful if they are please give me a thumbs up in the comments down below let me go wash this out and i will see you guys after that okay guys i'm back we just washed my hair so um after washing my hair we applied that same hair mask that i mixed with the relaxer to my hair and I'm just gonna let that sit for like 15 minutes and then after that I'm just gonna wash my hair and apply the leave-in conditioner and oil so on so I am overall happy with how it came out because before doing this my hair wouldn't have been able to hold two ponytails like this so it definitely does stretch and I will give you guys like an update once it is dry and after the oiling and whatnot. We washed off the hair mask and we followed through with the leave-in conditioner by Mili or I feel like I'm pronouncing this incorrectly and it's supposed to be pronounced the way Megan the Stallion pronounces it. So I just want to say something quickly about the Steven conditioner but I just want to mention that uh, the description of this is what actually drew my attention to the product never mind the fact that I've been seeing it on Megan the Stallion's feed. I just wanted to take it because of the description. So let me just... Um... So I did mention that it's pomegranate and honey and I did mention that it's a leave-in conditioner a couple of times but uh, the description says that it is a moisturizing coral primer and detangler for thick curly type 4 hair. I know there's 4C, 4A, 4 ing ing I am 4C and I know you guys have probably noticed that most of the Mili videos of people using this product have like 4A type hair. I think it's 4A. So you are a bit skeptical to get it for your 4C hair. I can confirm that it is very hydrating because after washing the hair mask my hair burnt like actual hell because I had it on for too long I was supposed to have it on for like 15 minutes but I had it on for like probably like three times that much because I wanted to eat after putting this leave-in conditioner my scalp kind of felt more relaxed and I can literally feel the hydration going on so if you want to try it go ahead and try it if you guys want to see the end product of this text texting thing pause this video go ahead and click on that subscribe button and that notification bell because my next video will most definitely be a follow-up video of how my hair looks like after text texting i will comb it out and show you guys the end result when i am are you kidding me if you guys want to see the end results of this text texting thing Stay tuned for my next video because my next video will be most definitely about how my hair looks like after that. So 
thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate the support me and my plastic bag are completely out